Did you know that you can have your viewers control your game using TikTok Live Gifts? Well, in today's video, I'll show you how to set it up. It's super simple. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so first things first, what you'll need to do is download Tickfinity. You can either download the desktop app or use the website version. The links will be down in the description below. So once you do that, you will see this page right over here. If you don't see this, you'll have to go to the setup page right here and then put your TikTok username and also click on connect to TikTok Live. Once you connect it to TikTok Live, you will see your profile picture, your username, and it's gonna say, click to connect, disconnected. You can completely ignore that. That is because you're not live. Once you go live, it will be officially connected. So what we want to do is simulate keystrokes using TikTok gifts, likes, or comments, or whatever else you really want. So how do we do that? We go into the actions and events tab right over here, and then we add actions and events. Once we are on this page, we want to create a new action, and the action is going to be named whatever keystroke you want. So if you're going to do W, you can do W, or, you know, A, S, D, whatever letter you want to be pressed name it as the action. So you scroll down a little bit and you will see simulate keystrokes. You click on this and you click on select keystroke. And this is where you want to select what button you want pressed. So you can choose W right here. You can do even control, Alt, shift. So if you want a specific command, you can do all of that over here. You can even do left mouse click, right mouse click, all of the other letters or whatever, you can set that up right over here. If you're gonna do it in specific games like GTA or Forza, you might need to enable game compatibility mode and it also needs auto it installed. So keep that in mind. But for the games like Minecraft or you know some other games, you don't really need this enabled. So you just press save and now you have this enabled right over here. You can scroll down and that is basically it. If you want to have an alert played, Every time somebody presses the button, you go in and click on show alert. So you want the alert shown, for example, thanks for, and then you can do like gift name, or you can do thanks for pressing W or whatever you want the alert to say. You can also show the animation every time there is an alert. Uh, so we just click on choose animation and we can choose a random animation right over here. And then on the bottom, we want to click on this link right over here. So it's gonna say the selected overlay screen is currently offline and it's gonna say the link. You click on the link, it's going to copy it to your clipboard and now we want to add it as a browser source on TikTok Live Studio or OBS, whatever you're using to stream to TikTok. So now that you're in TikTok Live Studio, what we want to do is you want to go to the left side and click on add source. And then over here, you want to choose a link. You click on link, you click on add, and then you just paste the link that you copied right over there on Tickfinity. So you paste it right here. You don't need to do anything else. You need to enable turn on sound because you know you have an alert and the animation and the sound playing. If you don't, you can, you can disable this. It doesn't matter. Click on add source. And now the source is right here. You can resize it and whatever. If we press the test button, we will see the alert shown up. But before we do that, we want to add an event. So we go back to Tickfinity, we click on save over here, and now you have W right over there, and we want to add an event that actually simulates W being pressed. So what you want to do is you want to click on the create new event button right over here, and then we can enable who can press this button. So everyone, uh, you know, it can be only moderators, only top gifters or whatever else. We want to choose everyone. And then on the bottom, you want to choose when does this actually simulate the keystroke W. So we want to do a specific gift and we want to choose, for example, uh, GG. So whenever somebody gives GG, it will press W for me. If somebody presses, you know, if you want to do, for example, S, you can just, you know, choose a different gift and then people can give that specific gift and it will do keystroke S. So now that we have this set up right here, you scroll down, trigger all of these actions and you choose a W because that is the action that we want triggered. And then the random one, we don't press any of that, click on save. And now you have it set up. So whenever somebody gifts the GG emote, it will do the action W, which is basically pressing W. If we want to test that out, we can go into notepad just for the testing purposes and see if it actually presses the button. All right, so we have the notepad open right over here. As you can see, it has nothing in it. If we press the play button of the W action, we just press it. It's going to say it will simulate the keystroke in five seconds. So we just wait and then it will press W for us right here. And it says keystroke executed. Keep in mind, this is for testing purposes. When somebody gifts, it will do it immediately for you live. So now you can just go ahead and do more actions and more events for 
other buttons and then you are set up and that's basically it that's how your viewers can control your game using thickfinity and it's completely free if you guys did like this video make sure to drop a like it would mean the world if you don't already know i do stream on twitch three days a week link is down in the description below if you want to see more of my thickfinity and just tiktok live guides make sure to check this video right over here anyway i'll see you in the next one peace out and have a good one bye bye